Okay, so I was just going to make a video about how to install the Chroma mod for Minecraft. Okay, so here we go. So there's the Minecraft Chroma mod. This is for the client. And if we check out releases, this is where you'll find the Minecraft Forge direct links to install that for the server and client, and also the corresponding mod installers. And the place to really get started is if you scroll to the bottom, there's a little intro, and then there's quick start. So here you see, yep, go to the release section. That's where you run the installers. You'll install Minecraft Forge for the client and server. And use the mod installer. And then um, from that point, there's two ways to run it. So when you're running Minecraft as a client, you can just open to LAN and run it that way, or you can run as a dedicated server. So for the dedicated server, to allow the client mod, there's a different version for the server mod. So that's this link here. There we go. So here's an installer for the server. Okay, and then some commands to get that started. So let's run through the client steps first. Okay, so let's set up the client first. I'll just go to the top, go to releases, and here we have the nice links. So first I need Minecraft Forge. I'll download that to the to a folder. So Minecraft, that'll save the Minecraft Forge. And then since it's 1.16.4, I want the 1.16.4 version of the Chroma mod. So I'll download that. And there we go. Okay, and from here, there we go. So first I want to install the Forge installer. So double click that jar. Um, Java should be in your path so you can run jars. It's part of, if you've done any Minecraft Forge, you've already have that set up and I'll install the client. Okay, good. And I'll run it again and also install the server files. There's stuff already there, that's fine. Just replace that and now we can run both ways okay so before I install the mod let's just run a command to see the mod folder so I can do app data slash minecraft yeah, there we go so here's the minecraft folder and mods this is where it shows the installed mods and I'll just go ahead and uninstall what's here. Yep. Okay, let's go back there. Let's put the slash the right way. Yeah, either way, it's right there. Okay, mods. My mod folder is empty, so this is where you'll be starting out. Okay, so we'll run the installer for the Chroma Minecraft mod. Okay, get a little Windows protected your PC, click more info, and just run anyways. Okay, another UAC, and there we go. Okay, I'm in the setup. Next, next, install. And finish. Okay, so this is the char file for the mod. And inside of the mod folder, here's the DLLs to work with Chroma and the animations that the mod uses for Chroma. So that's everything. And now we can run Minecraft. Okay, and after you run all that, you'll see there's now a Forge version, 1.16.4. And we'll play that. Okay, so here we have Minecraft. If you look at mods, Sample mod 1.0. All right, it's a sample mod, you know. And uh, so there it is. This is the client mod, and we can go into single player and delete. Okay, make a new world, creative cheats. Sure, all oh, that's good. Create a new world. Okay, and I have Chrome working because I can tell. 
As soon as I go into water, everything turns blue and Chroma is running. Okay, so that was the client setup. If I quit, now I'll show you how to set up the server. Okay, so let's uninstall the client mod. Okay. That will get rid of all the files, and now we just have an empty mods folder. Okay, and that's because the client mod isn't going to run on the server. So we need to run the server. Um, and for the server to allow the client to connect, it has to have the same mod ID. So we'll go and get the server mod. Okay, so this is the Minecraft Chroma mod server. And here's the installer. And I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, run it, run it anyways, UAC, yes, all right, and then go through next, 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 and finish. All right, so this is given the bare bones mod, here's the mod ID, and there's really nothing in here other than the uninstaller. Okay, but this will let us run the server and have people connect with the client mod that matches this ID and they'll be able to, they'll be able to see the nice Chroma stuff even though they're in this allowed because the server is also running that mod. Okay, so let's start the server, a dedicated server. So for those steps, we'll go back in the documentation to the quick start section. Okay, quick start, and to run a dedicated server, you need a command prompt. Java should be in your path. Okay, so we go to the Minecraft base folder, and this is the command you want to run. Here we go. And this starts the Minecraft server. If you have any mods that you have that aren't compatible with the server, this is where it will just error and crash and the server will stop but if everything's set up right it will launch the server and launch the mod and you'll be able to connect to it okay so you can see there's the sample mod and it's started okay let's launch minecraft launch with forge okay 1.16.4 and at this point, if you go back, and if you're on that first setup where you've installed the client mod on a different machine, you can connect to this server, and it will let you run the Chroma mod because the mod IDs match. Okay, and you can see under mods, there's the example mod. Now, this is the server mod, but the client mod, client mod will match this ID. Okay, multiplayer, proceed. All right, so direct connect, I should be able to connect to localhost 25565, join server. And there we go. So I've been able to connect to localhost with the Chrome mod running. Okay, so if you're running the Chrome mod on the server, and the client mod on the client, you'll be able to connect both of those together on the Minecraft port 25565. And it'll support Chroma. Alright, so give that a try, and thanks for watching.